So I had this idea a couple weeks ago. What if instead of using adhesive, we used magnets to reassemble this computer? Ever since the 2012 iMac, Apple has been using adhesive to seal their iMacs once manufactured. This adhesive goes along the borders of the display underneath, rendering an artificial and unnecessary barrier to disassembly. Cutting the adhesive allows you to do what you must, but you must purchase new adhesive every time, or tape it back together. Today, I'm going to show you how I used some magnets out of an old hard drive or two and managed to stick the display back on. Keep in mind, I'm not responsible for any damages done to your computer, and if you happen to decide to modify the computer like I did, you are at your own risk. This modification is most suitable for people who like to tinker with their devices frequently. Neodymium magnets can lose their magnetism over time, however, the rate of loss depends on several factors. Temperatures, storage conditions, and humidity play a role. The modification indeed becomes a liability as a result, albeit a very slow cooking wolf. So if you're someone itching to disassemble your otherwise taped together iMac rather often, then this video may be for you. I'm pretty much just eyeballing everything and using my best judgment over here. I believe the most difficult thing was figuring out the where so the magnets don't push the screen off. And then I'm gonna put extra super glue on this magnet over here because I know it's a little bit lower. It appears as though we're three quarters of the way through with this project. Although the five magnets up on top are okay, uh, the ones on the bottom leave room to be desired because it's still letting the glass slip this way. If it's knocked, it falls. And the magnet on the bottom left was causing the screen to lift off. And the one down on the bottom right, for some reason, doesn't want to stay glued. So I'm going to have to take the screen off and play around with the magnets a couple more times. Turns out this magnet actually stayed glued. I think for this next bit, I'm going to need one more magnet. All right, so I've settled on right over here. Magnets don't affect SSDs the way they do hard drives. So again, this is just a project computer and the idea is one on the screen and one right over here and it'll snap. This should glue itself relatively quickly. What I have to do is demarcate where under the screen this magnet would be. Does the screen actually stay on the iMac? This screen still doesn't stay on the iMac. So that wasn't enough, and I'm gonna need some more magnets. All right, so I've decided to install one more neodymium magnet right in the middle to give it additional support because it seems like the previous configuration still wasn't quite enough to hold the screen on the iMac. I'm going to be putting an additional magnet on the screen on the opposing side, right over here, next to this one. So it's time to connect the new modified screen and see how it works. This magnet on the bottom plus the one up here really should do the trick. Okay, that's a definite yes. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it right there. These two magnets really pull the screen down hard enough on the bottom that it clicks into place and it feels like it's not gonna fall off anymore. Let's test it out. No, oh, really? Whoa. See if this magnet configuration is good. Seems pretty sturdy to me. All right, one more magnet. I'm gonna try to put a magnet on here so it can line up with the magnet over here. That way, more strength. This is a little bit nicer than I thought. I can pick this thing up, tilt the screen down, It works! 
Overall, I consider this project a success, somewhere between an anecdote and something kind of practical. So if you enjoyed watching this unorthodox computer hack, please drop a comment and subscribe. And thank you all so very much for your time today.